this video it's about Revelation 8.8 8. I'm just going to show you my flyer ministry but it's about North and South Korea um, Kim Jong-un was educated in Switzerland you know that's the base of the Knights Templars um, obviously the Je Jesuits were started by uh, that order so they're, they're tied in with each other you know one of them is the military branch the other one's a sort of religious branch or whatever political branch and there's so many presidents and uh, around the world who were educated in, in Switzerland you even see a building in North Korea you know the triangle is always associated with uh, you know the Illuminati and all that um, recently going going to that region uh, probably telling him in no uncertain terms um, what he expects and uh, doesn't look too chuff does he <laughs> but uh, the word of God I got a dream back in 2003 on the 8th of the 8th 2003 and it's uh, really about Revelation 8.8 8. so just uh, go through it here you can check out the links this, this is my old website that was pulled down last year by these uh, globalists I suppose um, dream about California and the North Pacific Ocean so this is from Revelation 8.8 8. the second angel sounded as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea a third part of the sea became blood the third part of the creatures which were in the sea had life, died, and a third part of the ships were destroyed. I had a dream on the 8th of the 8th, 2003 about California. I will tell it as I remember. This is a major vision as it fits so tightly into Revelation 8.8. 8. So you can see that uh, all those people who had sort of denied were in the tribulation and all that. I mean, you know, I think people know where we are deep down. That, that we're in the last days it could be in the last seven years um, I saw Korea then I heard a voice of the angel of the Lord say this is South Korea so I'm aware that just around the Cold War time after the Second World War the United States were kind of fighting against North Korea and uh, South Korea you know were, were trained you know by the United States there's, there's a bit of a history about that it's not a brilliant history, but yeah, it was there, and uh, it's going to be like this in the end times as well, as it is now. I saw a huge red mountain fall out from the cosmos into the sea. Then I saw a tidal wave grow steadily from where it landed going east. Okay, just like this here. Then I saw two huge eagles, one I no was silver in color now I'm not sure what the other one was you know presumably it'd be something like bronze or gold or something like that but I was drawn to to, to uh, the silver one for some reason and they were retrieved and carried the great mountain that had been cast into the sea until they reached Hawaii uh, I heard the voice of the angel tell me the size of this object that they were carrying which had fallen to the earth it was two times three kilometers wide. I saw the tidal wave reach past Hawaii. It had now swallowed up many islands and destroyed many ships. Then I saw the eagles drop the great mountain and I heard great eruptions and lesser mountains being thrown into the sea. A uh, tidal wave grew larger again headed towards the west coast of the United States. So that's why I saw in the vision. It isn't it very strange that Donald Trump now is the president who was uh, questioning whether Barack Obama was born in the United States or Hawaii I think he claimed to be born in but uh, you know the, the the plot is just so thick just now all, all the signs are pointing towards this starting you know within the next year it, you know probably well before that you know it could well be within the next few months who knows um, and there's been reports I'll carry on I'll do my little uh, commentary on it here there's been reports of meteors this size being located by NASA and I believe recently they said they destroyed uh, a meteor this size okay there's been YouTube videos made on that 
I prayed before and after this dream the, there was a verse in Enoch which there are seven mountains burning with fire in what seemed like a black hole so I mean the, the mountains in this verse are likened to angels so this mountain that I saw could, could literally be an angel um, letting loose you know something from the abyss or you know your your interpretation is probably as good as mine <laughs> I have a little bit of interpretation though um, but I, I thought it was to do with Fukushima as well because in that region there you know it's just uh, the sea is dying in the North Pacific um, so yeah seven years before that I was I was going to a church and I had an open vision when uh, the Holy Spirit just spoke through me and said second Ezra is scripture it should be in the Bible I was speaking to a, a church elder and he couldn't really disagree because he hadn't read it you know uh, I'd just been baptized so he, he, he didn't deny it or confirm it or whatever but that's what I said and while I was saying it I saw Ezra's vision about the eagle from the sea so this is what I see two eagles here. So if you read the book of Ezra's vision about the eagles, it's to do with empires. Okay. So the plot thickens. You know. Um, sometimes I've seen open vision, been able to see dates. So I prayed for a date when this would happen. And I saw a news report that it was uh, around 2014. So this is us about three years down the line. Okay. So that was just a rough estimate. I mean, from 2003, you can imagine all the Christians every single year that have been saying that, you know, that the Lord said we're going to be raptured this year. Well, I have known right up until about the last two or three years that, uh, you know, it's just not going to happen. And to be honest, I didn't see a rapture happen before this event. The Lord didn't show me if there would be a rapture before this event. In fact, I think according to the word of God according to what I've been shown this event happens before there's a rapture and I believe that the Lord will deliver his people out from these areas which will be affected before this judgment happens for example if you live in California I would get out right now which I've made videos about before I've warned people to get out of California obviously if you're in Hawaii I mean there's, there's volcanoes here and he's talking about eruptions and all that stuff. So you're talking about major uh, volcanoes and that uh, tectonic plate there in the North Pacific. So uh, it's the most volatile, I think, in the entire world. So if one of them goes off, again, this could be likened to a mountain falling into the sea around Hawaii. I mean, these could be likened to weather weapons or they, they could be harp. They could be, you know, that type of thing. You know, visions quite often are not immediately apparent what they mean. I'd be appreciative. Uh, you can put your comments below if you want, if you have an interpretation. But, uh, yeah, in the news media, there was, there was, uh, this was discovered shortly after I had uh, the dream and I prayed about it. And it's been in the news quite recently as well, uh, an object of this size, okay? So it's very important for me, it's all about sounding the trumpet, warning people um, to move from that region. I know a few Christians that are in South Korea and they fear uh, what's happening just now. Just please pray for them. Just please pray for these people. They need your prayers. There's a lot of Christians in South Korea. So I've included uh, the news article here. I think this was the name of the meteor, but you know that uh, how much we can trust NASA whatever but that's information here there's another meteor you can check out but to be honest there's loads of meteors this is where <coughs> you can download the flyer if, if, if you want you can download it from, from this website these are the environmental changes for the size of uh, the meteor so right up to one kilometer in size, between one kilometer and three kilometers, you're getting global effects similar to nuclear winter. 
calculated for all-out nuclear war. So that's the effects it's going to be like. The sky is going to be covered, which they're already doing with chemtrails. Um, you're talking at least 1.5 billion deaths. And I believe there was a video made by Barack Obama, which uh, some people have seen, which he actually uh, commented. They made a pre-disaster video. Um, and he looks very solemn. And he was like, this is about, well, a number of years ago now. I'd say five years ago that people saw this video. And he looked very solemn. And he was saying that there's, there's never been a, an event like this. And it's wiped out, you know, many, much done much more devastation than any other event. I believe this probably what they were, they were talking about. But perhaps they don't know when it's going to happen either. Okay. So... <clears throat> I'll try and zoom in here to, to show you this here. Okay, Jermaine Thomas was the first missionary from Wales who reached uh, the east, went to China, went to Korea. And when he reached Korea, he died, but he got a hold of his Bible, was able to translate it, and that's how Christianity spread to uh, Korea. So there was a female prophetess the law of visions and she had won very much like the one the Lord showed me um, in her book heaven is real she saw the Pacific Ocean dried up but the Lord told her this would happen after the Saints were taken out of the earth so this is well in advance uh, far more in the future that I saw as you read in the date of the op opening title we believe that the tribulation is almost upon us indeed must prepare ourselves to meet our God and speak his message to the world. Jesus tells us that by carrying each other's burdens and confessing our sins in love that we are fulfilling the whole of the law. James 5.16 Galatians 6.2 This is very, very important. Um, this is why I selected uh, Chew Thomas because she seemed to have a, a close relationship with the Lord. Um... This is one of our messages from TrueThomas.org. So again, this is just a second witness to what, what the Lord showed me, you know. This is about Jonah. You can read about that in your Bible. Um... You must stop asking only for the gifts, but you must first ask me for my heart. Remember that David told Solomon that's the first thing to ask for, for a heart like God. But he, he forgot to ask about that, and he asked for the wisdom, you know, to govern wisely. And the Lord honored him in that, but he lost the fear of the Lord, and this this caused him to sin greatly before the Lord. And uh, it's highly questionable if Solomon was actually saved. Uh, I don't think there's any level of repentance that is recorded in, in the Bible which is needed for salvation. Remember when David sinned, he repented very much. There's no record of Solomon really humbling himself when when he was told that his kingdom would be s split in two and all that stuff. I can give you all these things where there is still time and grace. Therefore, repent and ask of me for my work and for the sake of my name. The blessing that was spoken through the prophet Joel will come upon all gen generations, or this generation, uh, to dream dreams, see visions. Therefore, ask to have all of me. So it's very, well, it's a very important message, and the fact that a lot of ministries put emphasis on seeing dreams and visions, but really, you you don't want that type of level of what with the Lord unless you're 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 ready to follow Him and obey Him into what what He says for us to do. Uh, hold on a second. So this is a video that I made. It's like Kim Jong Un on the grey horse, you know, which is about the Book of Revelation. Uh, yeah, six eight. The pale horse, his name is Alan was death. So this is really the beginning of what you call World War Three in the tribulation, hand in hand, right here, according to the Word of God. You've you've seen it here first. <laughs> What you, what you got to realize here is that Jesus is coming back to judge the earth. This is the start of it all, okay? Um, 
Obama could well be a future world leading antichrist and whatnot. If you want to download my flyers and share them, there's a lot of information on it which you, 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 you can use to share with your family and friends. But Jesus is coming very, very soon, and this is the start of it all. Okay? Hallelujah. I mean, I'll certainly let you guys know if I have any rapture visions or dreams. But everything the Lord has shown me since I was baptized has come to pass. Hallelujah. God bless you.